Wrong fucking button again. Ceron is nice, right? It's so beautiful by the water, time seems to move more slowly than in Suo. Yeah, but you're from Ceron and you don't take it easy at all. to a day on the town to raise spirits. Yeah. We can't force it on Kasane, though. You're right. Seeing Naomi like that, even I was shaken. Nearby resource reading. Oh, we'll get that in a bit. Fuck, you need the meds, lazy sack of shit. Actually, I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to go this way. Not yet. It's only natural for you to rely on me. I wonder who could, who could have been. Hmm. Right here. God damn it. Okay. Are we are we 
floating in the air? Fuck. Looks like it. What the fuck? Stand by, huh? So, what do you want to do? We could go back to OSF headquarters. Before you do, could I have a moment of your time? Oh, the fuck, who is this now? Excuse me, but who are you? Yeah, same. Please who the fuck are you? my manners. I work for the Ceyron government. I have come to ask you all a favor. This is a request from a group of us who do not quite see eye to eye with Travers. What are you talking about? I thought Major General Karin and the Seiron government are in this together. We have determined that Yuito Sumeragi is connected to the Kuna Gate's formation. Uh. Our experts say that the gate will bring a great disaster to the world if left alone. Oh no. We proposed the assassination of Yuito Sumeragi to Travers, but he has skirted the issue. After some reconsideration, we decided that we should delegate this task to the hero who assassinated Chairman Sumeragi instead. You want Kasane to assassinate Yuito? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I, I almost got it done at once and just stopped. Do you know what you're even saying? Thank you for your cooperation. We have intel that Yuito Sumeragi is currently in Kikuchiba on assignment. I will leave the rest to you. Good day. Able to find out the identity of that man, but I was at least able to determine that he works for Ceyron's Prime Minister. So the fact that this is a request from the government checks out. Are you really going to assassinate Yuito? Look, I know what this sounds like coming from me, but don't you think that's a bit much? I'm not saying what future Yuito told you isn't true. Kakuro does have a point. As of now, we only have circumstantial evidence. Nothing is really concrete. This also goes against Major General Karin's wishes. Are you still going to go through with it? Yes. I'm going to kill Yuito. That's most likely the only solution we have. Only solution my ass. I'll make my way to Kikuchiba. What the hell? You can't just leave! Just having a day off, go do it. Please wait, Kasane. You should reconsider. That's right. You're making a rash decision. Oh dear, she isn't listening at all. Damn, she's so selfish. Okay. Yuito is, but Kasane, do you really want to do this? It doesn't matter what I want. This is all I've got. Give me the directions. Understood. I didn't make any time at the What the fuck? What are those? If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. <laughs>
program is taxi. Holy, what the fuck is that? Seeing as they moved your ass here, I mean, they boss fight again. <laughs> Well, we came here just like the guy wanted us to. Are you sure about this? Are you really going to kill Yuito? Either way, we couldn't just let you go by yourself. Everyone here has your back. Listen, Kasane. We'll help you fight, but it ends there. After that, each of us will act independently. Got it? There you are. <laughs> Kasane, just hold on. We can talk this over. No point. You'll be dead. <laughs> are we actually gonna kill him? We're gonna kill what? Oh, okay, this is interesting. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. Some a bitch. I told you I don't want to talk. <laughs> I'm gonna shut my gun. Holy shit, what was that? Kasane, if this keeps up, neither of you will come out on her. Do you really want to kill Yuito? You don't have to help me if you don't want to. Just stay out of my way. Oh, what the fuck happened? Ah! Uh, Are you okay? Oh, you I was even the second chance. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. I thought I was throwing, throwing a fucking barrel at somebody. Fuck! I'll be 
Shit, I'm about to die. Again. I don't like this. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. We can't give up. I didn't need your Well, guess I only want. I'm borrowing this. I need to focus. Ah, fuck! You know, I'm, cha I'm changing the fucking who I'm getting up. Nope, nope, not him. Not him. Definitely not him. That was shit. Getting fucking shot by a gun. Can you handle it? It's useless. Little, I don't have a choice. You got this, Kasane. Sorry. Your turn. Time to die. Second time. I don't let that happen to me. Fuck! Thank me later. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. Not bad. I want to get about gun. I guess, I, I guess I didn't fucking heal. Ow! Fuck! Let me heal! Ow! Son of a bitch! I'm borrowing this. Damn you, little shit. Weakened member. 
And get done. Charging him for the second time. Ready, guy, don't kill myself in this face. Long he does it. Gotta give him a good old one too. Oh shit! Something. Should be pushing. We can't give up. Thanks. You saved me. Oh, he's not happy. I'm borrowing this. Okay, I guess I got it close. I'm borrowing this. You got this, Kasane. Show up. What the fuck? Kasane, tell me. Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Master Yuito, Kadama is here. Huh? Uh. Kodama. Great, just what we needed. We should fall back to our hideout. Uh, wait, Kasane! How? I, I smoked the shit out of them. God damn it. All the hard work for nothing. This is completely messed up. How can you just decide to kill Yuito like that? That day we came back from the future, you said that it wasn't going to be an easy decision yourself. Our future depends on it. Look, if that's your argument, do you actually have proof that it's all true? 
I'm sorry, but I just don't believe that killing Yuito is the answer to solving everything. Besides, it seems pretty extreme to kill both the father and the son. What exactly is your reasoning behind all this? If you can justify killing Yuito, then I'm all ears. There's no point trying to explain. That's for us to decide! What? I've been wanting to tell you this for a while now, Kasane, but you are way too selfish. You make quick decisions and determine what needs to be done. Even when you lose your cool, you're able to compose yourself. I really respect those qualities. Yeah, I said it, I respect you. That's why I was able to accept you as my leader. But no, not this time. Why should you kill Yuito? Don't expect any help from me until you can give me a good, valid reason. That... but... Whoa there, Shiden. I think that's enough. Ah, the youth are so passionate. I like it. It looks like your passion got to her. Continuing to harp on her like that isn't going to get us answers. Listen, Kasane. We have no idea what kind of things you're bottling up inside. We don't know the weight of it, or whether it's painful or not. The only thing we know right now is simply what happened to Naomi. Saying that an explanation would be pointless means you have something you should say. Lucky for you, there are four open-minded people here ready to listen. I'm pretty sure there are different perspectives you can consider as well. Tell us. We deserve to hear it. Yes, we're all on the same team here. I'm sorry. So you're really not gonna tell us? N no I just wasn't sure how to explain it, so I'm sorry I said it'd be pointless to tell you. Well, if that was the case, then you should have said something. I I'm sorry. Oh, this apology is for making you jump to conclusions, so... Yeah, I think I got that. Hey, Sheedan, come on. Let's try to relax a little, okay? It's great you're invested, and that's cool and all, but it's also lame at the same time. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> anyway, if you're gonna tell us, then tell us already. Uh, okay. The first reason is what I felt at Kunod Gate. I felt something like the power of the red strings coming from it. The time portal that should be disappearing lingers because of Yuito's power. That's what made me believe what future Yuito said. The second reason is because of what Karin said. He knows that we went to the future. He does? Arashi, you were eavesdropping so you can confirm. Yeah. From what was said in the future, I knew there was a good chance that Karin was involved in some way or another. He's at least aware that a time-traveling power exists and has accepted it. The third reason is that the Seiron official said Yuito was involved. I see. So for you, all your suspicions leading up to now were confirmed. Yes. I mean, they're all just circumstantial, but it's all I have. I'm sorry. You're apologizing for the wrong thing again. What we wanted was a fair explanation, and you provided one. You don't need to apologize for that. And it's thanks to your explanation, we came to understand exactly why you made your decision. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from now, but I still have a question. Why didn't you discuss all this with us? I told you. I didn't have any definite proof, and I didn't think you'd believe me. But I did. And everyone else here, too. Some of it I'm still not convinced about, but I don't think all of it's a lie. It's proof that your way of thinking is wrong. That's why we should talk from now on. We have each other's backs here. That's what makes us a team. I'm sorry. There you go again. Huh? There's a different phrase you should be saying right now. That's right. If you want to build trustful relationships, an apology isn't what's needed right now. Oh. Um. Thank you. Everyone. Phase six. Oh boy. I guess I should talk to Kagero. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, I agree with everyone. So I want you to know you can always talk to me. 
one message you sent out. Oh my god. Gamma, you wanna fucking talk to me? You fucking took a Please don't tell me there's a bot episode. Oh my god, it's a bot episode! I just tried killing you! God damn it! <laughs> oh fuck. I don't understand this. Oh, is that it? Oh, there, there's something. There. This doesn't solve everything, but at least he won't ask me about it. He's someone I may have to kill eventually. We fucking got sure Facebook block. As as <laughs> or else I might lose my nerve when the time comes. Oh my god. He's kind of strange. He's not like Naomi or Captain Seto. It's not like I found him especially interesting, so why couldn't I just ignore him? Oh well, he can't contact me anymore. For now, I just need to focus on Naomi. Wow. Bottom episode two. Why the fuck did he leave? I don't understand. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still, I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here, my retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die, while someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! Damn! Fucker Good just said reaction. parry this casual. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, but it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is Damn, someone like that supposed to live you? outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. 
I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out. Damn. Friends. I've never wanted friends before, but there's a limit to what I can do or think of by myself. I'll try to rely on other people a little more. Hey, the bottom stick? Fuck it. Yeah. Another bottom episode. Let's go. Kasane, you've come to see me. Let me guess. You've finally fallen for this sly fox's charms. Disturbing things do tend to stand out. Ouch. I demand an apology and compensation. Therefore, I'd like you to come to Kikuchiba with me. Huh? Kikuchiba? What are we going to do at a ruin overrun by others? I mean, if I suggest we go to Musubi's for a talk, you just turn me down. It doesn't matter where we do it. I hate meaningless conversations. Just think about it. If there are others, we can fight. It wouldn't be meaningless if we were also gaining valuable fighting experience. If you don't want to talk, you can just focus on the fighting. That way, there's no wasted time. I can't imagine I can improve my skills training with you. Our power disparity is too great. Seriously? Come on, just humor me, would you? Please, Kasane? Why does he want me to go with him? As irritating as this is, this might be a good opportunity to finally get him to tell me about his past. Okay, if it's training, then I'll go with you. That's the spirit. Don't let my graceful knife skills make you fall in love with me. Since I'm absolutely not interested, could you fight invisible the entire time? <laughs> There's no sign of any others. What, really? They're usually everywhere. Of all the days they're not around. This is no different than talking at the hideout. Let's go back. Wait, wait, wait. We'd be wasting a trip if we just turned around and went home. <sighs> Fine. Atta girl. Don't worry, I won't bore you. There's also something I wanted to show you. What? It's a surprise for later. Come on, this way. Well, our plans may have gone awry, but at least we can have some fun without getting interrupted by others. Our goal was combat training. Having them around was the whole point. Even you must have realized that the combat training was nothing more than an excuse. Oh, this really brings back memories. This area used to be a shopping district. I always came here with friends to blow off steam. Now it's nothing but a bunch of sad rubble. It gives me a strange feeling. I mean, I guess to someone young who wasn't around back then, this would look like nothing but a pile of rubble. Somewhere nobody lives anymore. Nothing left but visions. It's almost like the entire city has been left to haunt this area. I know it sounds absurd, but in a way, it's actually pretty funny. He's doing it again. He's lost his levity. I wasn't just imagining it. Oh, there it is. An arcade game? Not just any arcade game. You operate a crane to grab a prize, and if you manage to drop it down the hole, you get to keep it. This used to be real popular back in the day, especially with couples. This is why we came here. Let's see if it still works. It's plugged in, but it's not responding. Maybe it's broken. Wait. No, it's just locked. All right, time to use the hacking program I borrowed from Arashi. That sounds illegal. This place may be in ruins, but are we allowed to just operate this and take its prize? Go 
Don't worry about it. It's been left like this forever, so nobody's going to get mad if we take a prize or two. Oh, nice. It worked. Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Now tell me which one you want. I'll grab it for you. There are only plushies. I don't really want any of them, but if I had to choose one, then... That one, I guess. Okay, say no more. Consider it yours. I used to play these games all the time back in the day. I'm basically an expert now. Start it up, turn here, and... Now! You dropped it. Uh, I'm not giving up yet. One more time. This time I'll get it for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> he hasn't even gotten a single one yet. At the rate this is going, I'll never be able to ask him about himself. Can I get a turn? Okay, but this is more difficult than I thought it'd be. You know, I bet the store manager put the prize in a position where it's hard to get. <laughs> hey, you're cheating! All my hard work vanished like tears in the rain. You brute forced a locked machine with a hacking tool. So who's the real cheater here? <laughs> Well, I suppose you're right. Okay, then. I know this just started to feel like a date, but I think it's time we call it a day. Oh, were you two together? Oh, boy. Looks like we're caught. Well, cat's out of the bag. I guess there's no sense in hiding our secret now. Secret? What were you doing? He thinks we were on a date, which I in no way wanted any part of. If it were a date, well, I'd call it a complete failure. <laughs> Kasane, why would you say that in front of me? What part of it was a failure? Naomi told me dates were supposed to be fun. That wasn't fun at all. Oh, that's too bad. Well, you're a little too young to go on a real date anyways. And I am an old geezer. How fact, old are you? I'm old enough to have a kid your age. Now that I think about it, the major here would be more suitable for me. <laughs> then why don't you treat it like an outing with your daughter? What's the fun in that? It's not like I actually want to go on a date with him. I can't imagine it'd be more fun than this last one. Whoa now, that sounds like a challenge to me. Okay, give me another shot. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm glad you two are getting along so well. There are a lot of things different about you, Kasane. I could say you're an unlikely woman. Naomi always said I was easily misunderstood. Yeah, I get that. You just say whatever is on your mind. I generally find staying quiet makes more friends, though. Oh well, that lack of control is one of your good features. Having it? No, I don't. <laughs> Arashi, why are you sleeping here? Didn't you say you were going to check the SAS? Arashi is currently in maintenance. Please wait until services resume. Skipping out on work? Arashi, you bring lazy to a whole new level. Shut up! People need to get plenty of rest or they can't work. Plenty of rest? Oh, look at the time. It's almost time to eat. No wonder I'm so hungry. What a stupid alert system. Wow, so you can't even be bothered feeling hungry? Well, I was going out to eat. If you're hungry, then how about joining me? Eat out? Listen, rookie, the city is full of danger. You could find yourself surrounded by civilians or hounded by the crows. Fans in the press. Must be tough being famous. Basically, you're saying... It's a pain. I thought so. 
We don't need to go out. We have our rations. It gives us the minimum essential nutrients we need. Isn't that wonderful? You care about efficiency that much? Of course. And these rations can be eaten right away. It's my treat. Want to join me? It seems like you're absolutely against going outdoors. Okay, let's eat here then. Ah, this soda hits the spot. There is no better beverage in the world. Glad to hear it. By the way, do these rations taste a little too salty to you? You think so? I'd understand if it were heavily seasoned, but I'm just getting a strong taste of salt. It's not very balanced. Hmm, that's surprising. I thought you were more like me and didn't really care about taste that much. Hmm, now that you mention it, I don't think I used to care. I bet it's because of Naomi's cooking. My taste probably changed without me noticing. She likes to cook too. Handmade hair clip, homemade cooking. She sounds like quite the homemaker. She liked doing it since we were little. And I always helped with the taste testing. I see. That's why these rations are not to your liking. It's not that I don't like them. I just said it's not very balanced. It could just be that my palate is more refined now than it was before. Good grief. Are you really bragging to me about your sister right now? How are you two so close when you're not even related by blood? Because my sister was so kind. There's no way I would have survived in that house without her. Did something happen with your family? I guess. Don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful they took me in. But my parents don't see me as family. Not Naomi, though. She's always been there for me. Protecting me. And that's why I wanted to do everything in my power to protect her no matter what. I don't know Naomi that well. We only got to fight together a short time. And this might come off as rude, but that hair clip and Naomi's cooking you hold so dear, I just don't understand their worth. However, hearing you tell me about them has helped me to get to know Naomi. You really found yourself a good sister. Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you for the food. Okay, we've gone through the chore of eating. Time to resume services. Seems like you're ready to go back to work. Before I forget, you can pay me back for the rations by helping me out with a little job later. What? Oh, just hearing you talk about Naomi, I sense that you're someone who has a strong sense of duty. When someone protects you, you protect them back. In other words, since I treated you to a meal today, you'd want to pay me back. Or else it wouldn't sit right with you. I'm really just doing it for your sake. I'll let you know what you have to do later. Now, I've got to go. Oh, that's so unfair. Or <laughs> she. This must be what she had in mind the whole time when she said she'd treat me. She really got me. Nobody is better at slacking off than she is. Oh, Kasane, perfect. Can you get me a soda from the refrigerator? Oh my sure. god. But I think it would be faster if you got it yourself. <laughs> I need my calories. Burning those calories with my power would be putting the cart before the horse. Don't worry, I'll pay you back. I don't know when, though. I think understanding you better will make our battles more efficient. Well, then I guess we both need to understand each other. 